delicious dish is the result of perfect organization. If something is amiss, it is often because there is not a complete, or more simply, a suitable range of cooking equipment available. Secondly, the cooking techniques that we are familiar with are not always sufficient to correctly prepare a specific dish. Sometimes, just a few little alterations and tricks and the choice of the correct piece of cookware are enough to ensure the success of a recipe. In Italy, centuries of history have taught us to strive for progress and improve the utensils that we manufacture. Today, we are able to use advanced technology to create cutting-edge instruments in terms of materials, designs and details. This short story aims to satisfy the curiosity of enthusiasts, quickly reconstructing the key moments in the evolution of cookware over time. We are at Villa Medici del Vascello, one of the sites on the itineraries of the Ballerini Journey into the Realm of Sustainable Flavors project and located just a few kilometers from the Ballerini head office. From 1492, this fortress was home to Cecilia Gallerani, the woman made famous by Leonardo da Vinci's Lady with an Ermine painting. The year 1492 marked the discovery of the New World and, traditionally, the beginning of the Renaissance, a period that would spawn a new sense of humanity and consciousness. At this time, kitchens generally had a wall hearth with hood and fixed ventilation pipe, the forerunner to the subsequent fireplace. The hearth would remain unaltered for the entire age of the peasant population, and among all social classes, from the proletariat to the middle classes and right through to the nobility, up until the pre-industrial age in the mid-19th century. The typical cooking pot of the time was made from copper, a material that is easy to beat and melt, and was equipped with a semicircular handle that was hooked to the chain above the hearth. Its rounded base enabled it to come into direct contact with the fire. The use of aluminium in the kitchen, meanwhile, is a relatively recent development. Up until the mid-19th century, it was an exclusive and very expensive metal. It is said that Napoleon III was particularly proud of the aluminium cutlery he possessed. Between the 1800s and 1900s, the first kitchen ranges, forerunners to the modern gas stove, began appearing in the country. These appliances were fired by wood and were used both for heating and for cooking food. The cooking surface could be adjusted using a series of mobile rings and there was a little tub for heating water and a little oven. The aluminium and copper pot was therefore transformed and, for practical purposes, equipped with handles. It also assumed a distinctive conical shape with a noticeable ring halfway up the body. Baking trays were made from iron or tin plate copper and the ring handle was a key feature as it made it easier to take it out of the oven. The famous Artuzzi became the must-have recipe book of the well-to-do. The widespread use of the pan as a cooking instrument dates to the early 20th century, particularly in Mediterranean countries. The best-known version was the so-called Lyonnaise frying pan. The First World War did not result in major restrictions on food. Only 1917 was particularly critical, and even then, not to the extent of the Long Depression or the Second World War. Typical of this period were a special traditional Lombard pot for cooking rice, and the rice cleaner, which identified darker color and healthy grains of rice. As well as being an artistic and cultural movement not just limited to Italy, Futurism was the first modern total communication phenomenon. The influence of Futurist cooking 
would be seen in many creations of the more recent Nouvelle Cuisine movement, and even today, the futurist culinary experience remains an unparalleled example of multi-sensory engagement in the kitchen and social sphere. Many food books, magazines and guides were published between the two wars that characterized the 1900s, beginning the slow but inexorable process of the creation of a mass culinary culture. The graduated pot evokes the honest and lively atmosphere of the trattorias of an Italy that was rebuilding after the end of the war. It was in these establishments that the graduated pot had gained widespread popularity as the ideal utensil for cooking over a high heat. Thanks to its cooking surface with a special hole of fixed diameter that meant that it was open over the flame. The thin, flat handle of the pans, produced directly from the oval mass by beating or melting, still limited the practicality of the utensil. The boom in the mass ownership of motor vehicles, firstly Vespas and then super mini cars, saw Italians take to the road and discover the finest trattorias, turning them into pleasant, regular haunts. The 1950s were a time of great change in Italian society. While the use of gas cookers spread from home to home, family to family, the traditional kitchen range was still also widely used. For this reason, it was not uncommon to find truncated cone-shaped utensils on sale in shops which could be used with both sources of heat. These years saw the spread of handles in Bakelite, an insulating material patented in New York in 1907 by Belgian chemist Leo Bacheland and destined to revolutionize cooking instruments. As a result, handles gradually became increasingly practical and heat resistant. In the 1960s, Bakelite handles became increasingly solid and larger compared with the past. The idea of attaching them underneath the rim of the utensil to make it more stable when turned upside down to drip dry after washing also dates to these years. In the late 1960s, kitchens welcomed the non-stick coating for the first time, an innovative material that would become increasingly efficient in the years that followed and which can now be found all over the world. The non-stick coating heralded a new era in the kitchen. Combined with aluminium and precision finishes to guarantee maximum performance, non-stick technology amplifies the flavors of individual ingredients because it is no longer necessary to add condiments to prevent them from overheating. For many years at the cutting edge in this field, in the 1990s and almost 20 years ahead of its time, Ballerini was the first company to apply coatings strengthened with mineral particles, which are now very popular all over the world. Also specializing in the manufacturing of equipment for induction cooking, the most modern way of cooking food, Ballerini boasts exclusive patents at international level that have passed the most stringent control tests and received prestigious acknowledgements. Innovative technical details and exclusive patents have enabled it to gain the loyalty of the most demanding consumers who are increasingly after a combination of flavour, healthiness and sustainability. Flavour, healthiness and sustainability. Three key words that underpin Ballerini's business culture so it can continue to meet and exceed the needs of its customers. Today, just like yesterday.